So what's Thanksgiving? So there's a lot of things that we don't have this year because you can't get pumpkin. Oh, those are pretty big legs. It's as big as Disneyland though, huh? No. Yeah, you go ahead. What do you think we'll play? Um, I think it's for... Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning. Time to go. run out here and now we're thinking sparkling grape juice I feel like it would make it fancy but we can't decide if it's worth it to spend 365 pesos for this beautiful one it's six bucks six dollars anyway last minute errands and then we're gonna go cook our feast Hi. <laughs> How do you do that thing where she kicks her legs? I can't remember. It starts with kick. Like kuyakoi or something. Kuyakoi. 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 Too distracted. Kuyakoi na kuyakoi. Huh? Yum! <laughs> hey love, if we had our friends here, they would be so amazed how big this bird is. This is big. It's funny because Laura is just talking to her mom today and she was kind of like, you guys only have four pound turkey? We normally buy 20 pounds. Yeah. So imagine this is only four pounds. It's almost just like a big chicken. But a turkey at home, oh, there are 20 pounds. They're like four times this size. Anyway, we're gonna put it in our little oven here and start roasting it for a few hours. Fun. I didn't realize that they didn't have turkeys here. Once when we were little, we raised our own turkey and then for Thanksgiving we, we killed it and, and had that for dinner. And it was huge, it almost didn't even fit in our oven, like the big oven. This is fun, this is fun to have like a little thing from home. And it's fun that, you know, like unfortunately we can't have guests and stuff because of the timing, because of everything like that. Yeah, in the beginning we thought we'd do this with our friends, but Thanksgiving is not a thing here, so you know we can just as easily have another dinner with our friends another time. And it's a little bit overwhelming to throw a big party with friends, and so just for our family we're gonna do just our normal traditions and, and do this for our kids and for ourselves. The kids asked why they have to shower and dress up and clean the table and decorate and things, and I said, you know, because friends aren't coming, but I said, this is for us. We can decorate and have a clean, nice house for ourselves and they can do that for their mama. We're going to take a picture so I want them to have nice clothes on. And Esme is doing a great job decorating the table and cleaning it up. And uh, we have some Thanksgiving crafts to do, these little turkey things. What's next? I just need to get the potatoes going. I've already got my pies pretty much done. I just need to put whipped cream on them. I made that yesterday. So there's a lot of things that we don't have this year because you can't get pumpkin here or because um, pumpkin pie is the best part of Thanksgiving. But um, we can't have stuffing, cranberry sauce, those normal things, but we have the basics. Turkey, gravy, mashed potatoes, corn, corn and pies, mm -hmm. a couple of pies. So. so what's Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving came about when the pilgrims came over on the Mayflower to the United States. And they had a really hard go of it, right kids? We were just learning about this for homeschool. They were very sick, some of them died. Um, I think that first year they lost half of their people. So as far as I know, just in addition to Laura's thing is that, you know, the American Indians actually helped the pilgrims, you know, and shared their food and things like that. And we're not going to talk about the political things about that. We're just grateful that they, the people there did what they did and shared and stuff and that that whole thing happened. Uh, the, the, this whole Thanksgiving thing happened. And outside all the, all the political things and all the, like, the things like that, we are just happy and we are grateful for everything that we have. Especially America, America. <laughs> but anyway, it's just a tradition that has come about when you have this big harvest right from your garden and your animals and you have a huge feast to give thanks and celebrate with people and our tradition for our family is to eat the big meal 
and then go around the table and say what you're grateful for. And I think that's good for families to do, like any time of the year, but especially to have this set aside time, this tradition for our kids to practice giving thanks. It's not just being thankful and feeling thankful, it's giving thanks. So telling people that you, you are thankful for them, for the things that they've done, be specific and it's just good bonding. It's so good for families. <laughs> Today's Thanksgiving day. Um, Laura and I has been prepared, or rephrase that, Laura has been preparing our Thanksgiving dinner sa bahay. I'm so excited for the turkey. Today, Kuya Raywin, yung pare ng pare, <laughs> um, invited, <laughs> invited us to uh, have a ano tawag dito? community service dito sa city namin. And we have so, si Kuya Raywin, pare ng pare. Pare of your pare. Pa, si Kuya Tekboy, and then all the missionaries are right there. Yeah. <laughs> So right now I am standing on a wall because I'm crazy and we are going to fill up that area right there. We're, unfortunately we have to fill up, uh, we have to mix the cement dun sa baba and then we're going to carry them all the way up here so we can finish up para mailalagay namin dito. We fill up namin siya dun and then they can finish up their uh, roof para ma maayos nila yung bahay nila um, but right now we are just waiting for tatay so he can he can tell us what to do and then we'll go from there elders you ready yes. <laughs> ah. yeah it's sharp so be careful okay, okay. all right i think it's always good for kids to help out with things like this and Teo is going to start peeling potatoes for us you can do that right yeah i can do it yeah. and i can start my my nail yeah, don't sharp your nail. And don't cut your hand. And, and peel the potatoes. Okay? <laughs> and they're so fun. Yeah, they're so fun. And that's what makes these holidays so fun. I was telling my mom that I'm doing crafts with them and turkey celebration things. And, and it's just so fun to do those things once you have kids. Yeah. Really enjoyable. I highly recommend it. Yeah, that's fine. Just put your parts on the table. You are doing such a good job. You think you can do two potatoes for me? Two whole potatoes? Okay, and quit you like and do the rest. So Kuya Raywin, Sabin mo kung anong gagawin natin. So ang gagawin namin ngayon is na picture pa nga eh. <laughs> <laughs> Nagahalo kami ng simento dahil lalagay dun sa biga mm -hmm. para tumiba yung pundasyon nitong gagawin nilang bahay. Okay. So yun, kailangan ng buhangin tsaka simento. Kuya Tech Boy, so anong first step? <laughs> pulbo. <laughs> kailangan natin magpulbo. <laughs> Busy tayo. Hindi pa nagsisimula. Pawisak mo. Isa pa nga ulit Tech Boy. Paano? 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 Ayun ha? Paano mag- Paano mag-alo? Paano? Ayun! Tama ba na? Yung dila! Hindi ka sabi pa yung dila, no? Ayun! Ayun! Kids made this cute turkey craft. Then I have a few of these. We're gonna work on these. Like some thankful feathers. And some thankful trees. Let's do it! A toy? Toys! That's a good one. Let's write toys. Ayan, yeah, simula na. Tingnan natin ang yabang ng mga tao. Oh. Ooh, wow! Ha, 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 Sampai 
Sayang yung sako. Elder, elder, palitan mo sa patas mo. Oh, elder, th this one's yours. Don't get wet. <laughs> oh, take boy. Mix na. Okay. Ang kamay mo. Ang kamay mo. Take boy. Oh, oh. Oh, ayun. Wow. Tapos, tapos. Brrrr. Tabi, tabi, tabi kayo. Tabi, tabi. May expert dyan. Oh, tabi. Oh, ayan. Pwede, ikaw. <laughs> Dali na. <laughs> Huy, yuk ya nyo Ayan na Elder, you gotta You gotta You gotta use your hands Ayan Ayan! Tigboy, kaya mo kaya mo yan, oh! Kaya nga yun, oh! Yo, yun, oh! Oh, oh, oh! Sanay na sanay si Elder, oh! Okay, nakuha nilang yung idea. Ngayon lang ako, Ken. Nakuha nilang yung idea dito. Hindi naman man dati si Elder Katigo, eh. Ay, so di nakatayo lang. Forman pala. Ayan, Elder. Tapi may timba pa ba kayong isa? Climb up here! Dito ka! Lumipad kami! Darna! Okay. Break update. This sucks. YouTube somehow demonetized a lot of our videos. Uh, we don't know why. Um, we just know that it's demonetized and we don't know kung ano yung problema because they didn't really tell us anything. We're not sure if it's because of this new company that we're trying to work with um, that's supposed to help us with like um, grow our channel and sponsor and things like that. Um, so Laura's working on that. But on top of all the things that she's doing right now for the um, Thanksgiving. So, uh, guys, pray for us. <laughs> Anyways, go back to work. So, our pagahalo is pat post na. <laughs> hey, yeah. that's, 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 the, that's the first batch. Yes. Yeah, you have more. Have more to go. <laughs> yeah. This is the first batch and need a second batch to enroll. Yeah. Tama ba? Ang galing ko ikaw sa akin. Magaling mo. Okay, we are done. Um, I have all these guys. Uh, I have all these guys. I'm taking them to the car to wherever they need to go, and then I'm gonna head home so we can have our Thanksgiving dinner. 
Okay, that was definitely a lot of fun. And that's the thing that I like about Filipinos. There's always laughter, especially those um, young people, like the teasing and whatnot. So funny, and I love it. If there's anything that I would like the kids to like learn and take away from living here in the Philippines, it would be that. It would be to like enjoy every moment, play, um, laugh at everything, and make hard situations or you know hard work and things like that um, fun because that makes everything so much easier i am climbing up the hill now we parked the car all the way down there so the kids can have enough space to like play around here with their friends but it's a lot of work that hill is a killer oh my god this hurts my legs hurts i'm almost home and laura has made uh, I think it's finished with the Thanksgiving dinner. As soon as I get home, I'm just gonna finish up a little bit of the vlog. I'm gonna finish up editing and stuff. And then we're gonna eat Thanksgiving dinner. I'm excited. Oh, hi. hi dudes. Dinner is ready. Mama is just finishing up a few more, but this looks so delicious. And I know there's a few things that are not here, but man, I am grateful that I have this meal. You are, so you are amazing, Mama Bear. Thank you. Yeah. This is amazing. Raina is so hungry. She's already eating corn. Coyote is going to say the prayer. And then after that, we are going to go um, start eating. And then we're going to go around the table and talk about what we are grateful for this year. Go ahead, Coyote. Sure. Any father, do you like the food? Any family? Amen. Hey, Mama's gonna cut it. Sure. For the longest time, Papa always gets the legs. But chicken only have two legs. And there's what? three people that wants the legs. Two legs. And so, you know, we can only do so much. Here you go, buddy. Two legs. Okay, go sit down. Upo. Good girl. Those are pretty big legs. It's big as Disneyland though, huh? No. Who wants potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody jumped. <laughs> what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for all our blessings that we got here. That we got. Like what? Like, like smell junk. Um, I don't know. Like your family, the friends we had, you know, poor food. Thankful for. I'm thankful for. Oops, we might swallow our food first. Swallow your food and then you can talk. I want to hear you. I'm thankful for. For what? Take it. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. What is it? What is that? I can hear you. You can cover your mouth. You thankful for eating? Wow. <laughs> oh no. What are you thankful for, Esme? I'm thankful for cleaning the table today. Did you know that that in your That's awesome, Lizzie. Anything else? I'm thankful for having my wonderful dad. Mm -hmm. You think we're wonderful? What are you grateful for? Oh, <laughs> you're gorgeous. <clears throat> My turn. This Thanksgiving this year, I am so thankful that we live in the Philippines. It's something we wanted to do for a very long time, and I'm so grateful that we can give our kids this experience and have this experience for ourselves. It's been an amazing 
a year to prepare to move here, and then we've been living here for nine months, and there's so much more to come. What are you grateful for, Lab? I am grateful for it, just like um, Esme said, wonderful family, especially an amazing wife, because none of this thing that we've done, the food that we have right now, or being here in the Philippines, for example, we won't be able to do this without Lord. We won't be able to do this without um, your, what's the word, eccentric <laughs> personality. Like the, the, the crazy ideas that you have yeah. and stuff. Like we want to have this amazing year, um, if not because of you. So thank you. You're welcome. That was so sweet. And here he is taking care of the baby Mama, so I can eat in peace. Hello? Yeah, you go ahead. What are you okay. thankful for? Um, I think it for... I like um, I'm, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean change my pants. You thankful you can change your pants? Yeah. Me too. That's a good one. <laughs> How's the food, guys? Amazing! Was this Ready? worth it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sometimes holidays are stressful. But it's been great. The kids were so helpful today. And Papa did a service project all day. I can't think of a better way to spend your Thanksgiving. Okay, banana cream pie! Gluten free. Ooh, baby, baby. <laughs> Ooh, baby, baby! baby. Ooh, baby. <laughs> do you want your pie now or do you want to wait? Yes. Chocolate Oreo pie. We've been planning on this one for a long time. This is the reason why I don't eat a lot at the beginning. It's because at the end of the day, I am the one eating the leftovers and stuff. <laughs> You're a good papa. Oh. Thank you, my love. You're amazing. She really loves me. She loves me. The best part is nobody actually wants it. Can I eat some of the? Can I try some of the pie? Yeah, right there. No, that one. Yeah, this one. No, that one. I know this one. No, your Oreo fry. A fry? So <laughs> pie. Yes, you may have some of my Oreo fry. That's what I said. Nah, -uh. you said fry. I said pie. I said fry. You said <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You just cut the other pie. Pie. Sure. You just cut it. Oh yeah, Reina, eat it. <laughs> Let me see that one. Oh yeah. Okay, this is a banana cream pie with rice flour crust that I was able to make for Esme, so she can have pie. What is that? Oh shoot. Ah! Nice. Okay. You want some pie? Okay. I like the pie. Oh, look at that one. Oh. Sweet, sweet, sweet. It has banana in it. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, you like? Oh, no one's gonna record me. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Really Go ahead. Okay, mm -hmm. my turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. Do you like it? <laughs> Is it yummy? Mm. Say yum. It's your first Thanksgiving that you're eating food. Last year you were just a tiny It's over. All that prep and then we're done. After, but, yeah. after 20 minutes, we're done. Yep. But that's the thing about traditions, like the anticipation and all of the prep is part of the fun. Now we're really moving on to Christmas, baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you celebrate Thanksgiving in the US, I hope you had a great one. And we sure miss our family, but we'll be with them another year, I'm sure. And 
thanks for coming along as we celebrated our first Thanksgiving in the Philippines and I think our first ever Thanksgiving vlog. So that's pretty exciting. We will see you tomorrow.